Finger timing? Let me... Now you may have heard uh, some people say, I run my auger in the A position or the B position. What that has to do with is we reposition the finger shaft and what we can do is we can have the fingers extend a little bit earlier during the rotation cycle. And this can be advantageous again, if you've got, like I said, a high volume crop, lots of tall fluffy like canola and peas and stuff like that. And what it does is it helps grab the crop a little bit higher during the rotation to convey it underneath. So on the sides of your auger, you're gonna see a white indicator with an A and a B position on it. So there's a little white indicator there. We'll crawl in just to make all the safety people happy. Got my boots on. You're gonna see an A position and a B position. And to adjust that, you'll loosen off both of these nuts, 24 mil wrench, and then you'll rotate this to A or B. We're gonna move over to our display stand and make this adjustment and we'll show you the difference between A and B. Uh, it's just a little bit easier to see outside of the combine. You're gonna to wanna to loosen off both of these bolts. Now you have to loosen this one off quite a bit because it actually locks in place here. You can see the casting has a little step in it. So that has to be loosened off quite a bit. The back one doesn't need to be loosened off quite as much. Now with my wrench, on the bracket here, I rotate this. I rotate this up to the B position. Now this is a slightly older model auger, so you don't see the white indicator displayed, but what we're concerned about is the A and the B. So we're moving this to the A position, which will extend our fingers a little bit earlier during the rotation. Now it's important when you're making this adjustment, you have to do it to both sides of the auger. This is absolutely critical. If you run one side in A and one side in B, you'll actually throw the timing off of the fingers and you can actually cause a, some serious damage inside your auger. So now that we've adjusted it, we need to torque these. We're gonna to torque these to 85 foot-pounds or 115 Newton meters. And repeat on the other side. So the shaft stays stationary. What we've done is we've taken the shaft and we've moved it higher up. So that makes, means the fingers will be at full extension a little bit earlier during the rotation. In the A position, again, fingers extend a little bit earlier so they'll grab that crop a little bit higher. So if it's a tall mat of crop, we're grabbing it a little bit higher uh, to get it conveyed underneath the feed auger. So again, once again, this is one of those things that you can try um, when you're harvesting those tall bushy crops. Once again, canola, peas, rapeseed, whatever, even if you've got a really high volume wheat crop, this might be beneficial for you. So again, to make this adjustment, you don't need any extra parts, just a little bit of time. And again, you can experiment. Does this help convey your crop a little bit better or is it better in the B position? Um, it's up to you, experiment. You might be fine 90% of the time, but that one year you get that one crop that's uh, better than average, or again, maybe it's lodged and it's just really feeding um, in clumps and slugs and stuff like that. This is something that you can try on your own to improve your harvesting performance.